dear friends. Hey guys! Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. Uh -huh. My name is Jory and this is my lovely wife. Vinime or B. Make sure you have subscribed to our channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on your notification bell so, so you know, know when a new video comes out. out. Thank you. All right, today, today we are doing Never Have I Ever with my bae. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys saw on the last video, mm, 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 we started mm, that. <laughs> And I got him. I got him good. So he still had, what is this, like 10 0, 10 to 0? Mm -hmm. Honey, you gotta step up your game. So let's get started. That um this was also another request by one of you, our viewers. Thank you very much. So thank you for uh, requesting yeah. that. And if you've spent any time at all around church, you will get it. Yes. This is just for fun. This isn't That's trying to make any denomination or Christian weird. group yeah, yeah, yeah. feel weird. All right. Never have I ever woke up and thought I'd been left behind in the rapture. <laughs> I have. I have not. <laughs> <laughs> this, this has happened a couple times. More when I was younger. Mm -hmm. And I think I had a little bit of, you know, worry about this. Mm -hmm. I would, like, wake up and, like, my brothers weren't there. And my, my parents weren't there. And I was like, were they taken to heaven and I'm <laughs> left behind? <laughs> Never have I ever used a swear word substitution. <laughs> <laughs> I have. <laughs> I have not. Because I would just finish. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I'll catch myself, I'll be like, I'll start to say something and then I'll like replace it with something not as bad. Especially around the children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, ah! Especially working in the factory where I'm at, yeah. I hear every horrible word you can imagine. Yeah. And so they're like rattling around in my head. I don't want them there. <laughs> but, but like when I get angry, then I'm tempted to say something. Yeah. You know, and so... I try not to. <laughs> All right. Never have I ever mm -hmm. said, I'll pray about that as an excuse not to do something. <laughs> I've never done that. I have. You have? <laughs> like, um, usually it's like when you're being asked to do something at a church. Like church related. Yeah. yeah. Like, let me pray about it. <laughs> let me pray about that. That means you ain't getting an answer from me. <laughs> worse but then I realized you know it's okay if I know to just say that's not me but right now it's like if I said I'll pray about it I really do pray about it yeah back in the day <laughs> oh no like it's like no I just don't really want to tell you no like, right there's well there's <laughs> times where people have like wanted us to volunteer our time right. for them and I've just been like you know what we're really busy yeah <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't feel as bad anymore um, because, like, Jory can say stuff and it won't bother him. But, like, for me, I'm just like, oh, maybe we should have. And at least serve where you can serve. But yeah. know when to say no. And exactly. When, when it's really hurting your, what am I doing right. counseling people? This right. is just supposed to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pastor. Yeah. It? No. <laughs> Pretended to fall under the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you've ever been in like a lineup of people getting prayer, <laughs> and the man or woman of God is coming through and like putting he hands on people, and they're just like falling mm -hmm. under the power, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I've, I've done this <laughs> because understand i wasn't trying to be a faker uh -huh. when this happened. But if you're coming down the line, yeah, and, like. And this guy, like, got to me, and I was the one that was like, yeah, you're not going to push me down. <laughs> like, I'm not just going to fall just because everyone else fell. Right. If God touches me uh, and takes over my body absolutely. and I fall, that's one thing. But I'm not going to just, like, fall back when you right. touch me. Right. And so what happened was we got in a shoving match. <laughs> Not in I didn't intentionally, but I know but he was like mean. I didn't fall when he touched my head. Right. So then he applied some pressure. <gasps> then it was like pushing, like pushing me back. 
And it, it eventually got to the point where I was like, you know what, this is ridiculous. I guess I'll just fall down so you can stop pushing on my forehead. <laughs> so I so I just went back because they have like the catchers or yeah, whatever. Like, I'm gonna like, catch a back there. Let me just go down. <laughs> Let me just fall down so he can quit pushing me and move on to the next one. So So yes, I pretended to fall. I don't know if you would call it pretending, because at that point that might not have been like, it might not have looked too spiritual because I had already, like, stood my ground for a little while. Oh. But I, was, like, I wasn't, like, fighting him, but I definitely wasn't, like... You didn't feel anything. The Holy Spirit wasn't pushing me down. Right. The man was that, that was standing there was pushing me down. <laughs> so. so I remember because I was like, Jory, how come, like, at church, these folks are, you know, falling down and they feel all this? I don't feel any of it. I was uh -huh. like, you know... Is something wrong with me? Like, <laughs> have you ever fallen down? And, <laughs> and he said, yeah. I said, you have? Like, what did you see? What was it like? He said, the man kept pushing me. <laughs> I finally had enough. <laughs> like, I'm, we're not, we're not going to just break out and fight oh right here goodness. in the front of the church. So oh, I better just fall that, down. I cried though for <laughs> hours because I was like, I wonder how many people feel that pressure. Right, like, right. The peer pressure to, to like, do just it. do it. Yeah, like, oh my word. I was like, Jory, that is so bad. He's like, what was I supposed to do? Yeah. <laughs> fight, like, fight the man right Or there. just say, sir, I don't feel it. Yeah. I'm sorry, you're not anointed. I mean, just move on to the next one, I guess. <laughs> oh, anyway, that was... No. And, and that's yeah. not to say they weren't. They... You know, it just didn't, for some reason, hit for me. you. What for whatever reason? Right, because we do have other people I know of that yeah. have fallen. Yeah, I'm, and it, it can be a legitimate thing where right. you encounter God in such Absolutely. a powerful way Absolutely. that you, you know, that you feel overwhelmed. Yeah. And and but I just didn't feel that. But he wanted me to go down. So he wanted me to fall. <laughs> anyway. I was y'all. I was so shocked. I was like. <laughs> Comment down below if you know and you've been there. <laughs> Go ahead, tell us. <laughs> oh, your next question. I'm oh, sorry. That's, that, that always just takes me out. I don't know why. Right. Right. Never have I ever questioned my salvation. I, I have. have. You have? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I have too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think um, it doesn't usually happen and it hasn't happened much lately, but if it if it comes up, it's more just like a doubtful thought hmm. about something about the faith where it's like, you know, oh, maybe see. maybe this could explain this miracle, you know, where it's like a little seed of doubt. And usually I just like ignore it and like, no, I know right. that, you know, the Bible's true and, mm -hmm. you know, I we walk by faith, not yeah, by that's sight. Right, that's right. You know, our walk is a walk by faith from first to last. Mm -hmm. So every step of the way, we're going to have to have faith. So that's usually right. you can shoot it down whatever that doubtful thought is. That's right. But, but please believe you are going to have those thoughts. Yeah, I guess that's what taking every thought captive yeah. and making sure it lines up with the Word of God. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I totally had, before I became mature in my faith, um, I used to have, like, oh, I'm going to hell. Like, I did that, <laughs> I'm going to hell. Like, yeah. all the time, and it was so fearful. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it was bad when I was, like, in my early 20s and like I wasn't a bad person per se like right. we're all like sinners friend that always says I hope God grades on a curve yeah I should be okay I'm like buddy you, <laughs> and better, he, and you better get your heart curve, right because right. I don't think he grades on a curve right so <laughs> yeah I used to go I would question a lot and then I don't know like the church didn't talk much about it mm -hmm. like what do you do with those doubts and things like that? You know, you weren't taught to take every thought captive mm -hmm. and line it up with the word of God. You weren't, like, you weren't strengthened that way. So mm -hmm. I think I became weak in that aspect. But once I found out my position, then it's it's a lot harder to get me to doubt. <laughs> to doubt, yeah. yeah. To question salvation, yeah. 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 And it's, I mean, it's constantly trusting him. Yeah. And, yeah. Ever have I ever... <laughs> given money under compulsion i totally have <laughs> i've done that too <laughs> yes yes we have yeah. been in churches primarily one church where we gave a lot <laughs> under compulsion compulsion yes yeah because if you didn't you'll be cursed right, right? so yeah. yes there was a lot of manipulation mm -hmm. spiritual spiritual uh, <laughs> 
My word? <laughs> Spiritual manipulation to uh -huh. give. Yeah. Uh, and while it is important that we as believers have giving hearts. That's right. And give abundantly. Yeah. It needs to be from a place of uh, good heart before the Lord. That yeah. It's something you've purposed to do. To do. Beforehand. Not right. something that when you are in a meeting, you're drummed up and pressured to give. So mm -hmm. yes, I have done it. And I regret it. Oh, yes. <laughs> God is oh, good. Man. He can still use whatever we gave. Absolutely. Um, but sometimes uh, he doesn't use it. People use it to buy jets. <laughs> <laughs> and sports cars and the fifth house and, and an island. Okay, and, next. All right, moving on. <laughs> Never have I ever fallen asleep in church. Have you? I have not. Good job. I have. <laughs> Yes, and I'm, I like, I, I know I've done it, uh -huh. and I think I've caught myself a lot of times. Were you snoring? I don't think so. <laughs> I think for me, it's it's not because sermons haven't been, you know, monotonous, uh -huh. but um, it's that I can't sleep just anywhere. I okay. have to be really comfortable yeah. to fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. And so Jory's more like... Yeah, I could just about sleep I can out anywhere. just sitting in a chair. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I could sleep standing up, but I could sleep sitting oh. and anything more reclined than that. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Yes. Never have I ever broken a fast. I have. I have. <laughs> yes. Yes, much to my chagrin. Chagrin? I, I have broken fasts. Aww. Yeah. yeah. Or, you know, your first one is always like, yeah, I'm going to do this for the Lord. And then the you second one, there. third one came, and you're, you're like, like oh, this, this is hard. This is grace. There's grace. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe I'll just reduce it to like a... <laughs> a day and a half. Yeah, just, or just fast the mornings and then eat in the afternoons. <laughs> so, maybe I'll just make it a medium fast. So what? <laughs> <laughs> the go. shade of this man. Okay, so like when Jory and I are fasting, yeah. like... We tend to break it because one of us will start talking about food. You know the Bible says two have a good return for their work? Well, these two, <laughs> these two need to not do what they do. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so, like, usually around second or third day, Jory starts saying, when we're done, we're going to have some good work. <laughs> I start laying the temptation and out. I'm like, <laughs> Jory, let's not talk about food because it's going to throw us off. I'll be like, oh, I'm so hungry. Like, <laughs> and she'll get so tired of me whining about it. She'll be like, just, just go eat something. <laughs> <laughs> like you're dragging that me. Is... You're dragging me down. No, no. It's, it's, oh, it's like, well, yeah, it does sound good. <laughs> <laughs> like we're supposed to be praying right now and yeah. all you want to do is look up food. Oh, I'm like, food. he's like. We're gonna go to Miso Japan. We're gonna order this. I'm just like, you know what? Let's just go. Let's just go. That sounds real good. Let's go get some, go get some spring rolls. <laughs> oh my goodness! So Praise yeah. God. There's grace. <laughs> so we've we've come a long yes. way. We are yeah. doing a lot better. Yeah. Never have I ever read the entire Bible. I have. I have as well. I have. Yeah. Yes. In Bible school, <laughs> we we had to do it. Uh, two years in a row. Mm -hmm. Were we supposed to do it our third year? I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know if we were supposed to do it. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> I did do it the third year. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. But I think I, I know I've done it for sure two years in Bible school and I think one other time on my own. I can't remember exactly. Okay. Yeah, but man, I, is it hard to get through Leviticus? Let me tell you. Numbers, <laughs> that's Leviticus one. Numbers. I told myself I'm not going to skip this. I'm going to read Ooh, man. it. Man, yeah, yeah, that's rough. That's that was about the grace of God. <laughs> <laughs> and it is. Yeah. I mean, all of it's important. Yeah. It says everything is good. Every. Yep. All Scripture is useful for mm -hmm. teaching, mm -hmm. profitable, mm -hmm. and so uh, for rebuke and reproof and. And so, yeah, it's it's there for a reason, but yep. boy, is it hard to read through yep. <laughs> that one section. Yep, I did yeah. mine <clears throat> on my own. For me, it was like after we left that church and uh, I was having a hard pregnancy, I had to like kind of find this relationship with just God and I. And mm -hmm. he, <clears throat> by his Holy Spirit, he gave me this hunger yeah. to read the word. And so I read it and I remember reading some of these passages, these pastors 
mm-hmm. had mentioned. I'm like, that is not what that means. Right. Like, and I'm reading it, and I'm just like this lay person. Right. And I can, cl- I have the spirit of God in me. I can clearly see that that is that is taken out of context, yeah. and it's used for their benefit. Yeah. And so, like, yeah, that's when I started becoming more knowledgeable about mm-hmm. the Word of God. Was you know through those hard times. So right. praise God for those hard times. Yeah, and you dug yeah. in. And I know we're not really preaching, but let me just say, yes, if you're, <laughs> I will say this, mm-hmm. if your personal relationship with mm-hmm. Almighty God mm-hmm. is dependent on hearing from someone else's version of scripture mm-hmm. and having them interpret it for you, mm-hmm. rather than you looking at scripture and, and having the Holy Spirit interpret it for you, mm-hmm. I would challenge you and say, maybe your personal relationship isn't there as much as you think it is. Yeah. So, and I know that's a hard thing to hear, but but don't just take other people's interpretation of Scripture when you have it right there. Read not it. even ours. Read it. Yeah, no, not even not us. Even like, ours, I can yeah. quote Scriptures, but you need to get in there because the Holy right. Spirit quickens the Word to you. To you, yeah. So, and, and there's something you're going through that you need Scripture for, mm-hmm. and the Holy Spirit can say, this is for you. That's right. Yeah. That's so. right. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Never have I ever with my bae. With my bae. <laughs> <laughs> all right now. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much to all of you for joining us here. For those of you who've been with us all year, thank yes. you for all your awesomeness. Mm-hmm. And we are so excited about all our new subscribers coming in mm-hmm. and the amazing growth we've mm-hmm. seen in the channel. So we love you guys so yeah. much. Mm-hmm. And we look forward to all that is ahead. Praise the Lord. And with that, dear friends, keep Keep looking looking up. up.